Hi, uh, this is Ed. I want to uh, just bless you guys with a, a word of encouragement today. Uh, you know that there's many out there right now that are hurting from, you know, so many different things. You know, some have uh, financial worries, some have health issues, uh, you know, some have uh, emotional problems that they're dealing with. And, and there's many others besides these, you know, that people are struggling with today. But, you know, God's word is so awesome. There are so many promises in God's word that if we just come to him for guidance and help, and if, if we do our best to, to follow after him, that he will make everything turn out for the best for us. And he will. He has promised it in, in his word over and over again. So uh, I want to exhort you guys, you know, just to, to keep digging into the word. And uh, like I say, for those of you that, that are struggling right now with different things, uh, just know that God is in control. He is listening to your prayers and your answers are forthcoming. Just because they, it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So uh, praise God. Uh, I want to read in the book of Galatians today. It uh, gives us some powerful exhortations, uh, you know, to do not grow weary. You know, we, we, we have to press on to the end. You know, Jesus is coming soon, but we have to endure to the end. So uh, let's look at Galatians. We're going to read in chapter 6, verses 1 through 10. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one examine his own work, and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For each one shall bear his own load. Let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap, if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Uh, this first part, you know, especially in verse 2, talks about us bearing one another's burdens. You know, like I said, there's many uh, hurting out there, you know, whether it's you or, or you know someone who's hurting in, in whatever area it, it may be. You know, uh, we need to, to help bear the burdens of others. We need to pray with them. We need to encourage them. Uh, we need to comfort them. Uh, you know, that's just part of our daily walk that we, we should be doing on a daily basis. You know, we should be uh, asking the Lord, you know, Lord, who, who is it today that you would have me say a kind word to or, or do, you know, do a good deed for, for someone, you know, uh, that's very important. And uh, also, um, it, it also talks about pride a little bit. It doesn't mention the word pride, but, you know, it talks about us not lifting ourselves up or, you know, thinking that we're better than others. You know, that's that's a great danger in the day that we live in. You know, we, we don't ever want to get to the place where we think we're better than others or, or that we know more than others. All of us are nothing in and of ourselves. Only through Christ Jesus can we be something. So that, that's, that's just a fact, and, and we need to continually remind ourselves of that. And also, in, uh, it, towards the end of it, it talks about us reaping, uh, you know, what we sow. And what, what we sow is very important. You know, every action we take, every word that we speak has consequences to it. So, uh, you know, when we sow, like Bible study, prayer, uh, praise, worship, and ministry to others, we're going to bring forth great results in the spiritual realm. And uh, spiritual blessings are much more important 
than financial blessings. I'm not saying financial blessings aren't important. We all need to, to be blessed financially, you know, it, it, and God takes care of his children. But the, the important thing here is, is to focus on the spiritual blessings. Spiritual blessings endure forever. Uh, that, that's what we're going to take with us into eternity. You know, when, when, when we go to meet the Lord, uh, hopefully one day real soon here, uh, these spiritual blessings will continue and be with us. You know, all the material things of this world are going to be burn up. They're going to be of nothing. So uh, we need to, to try to focus more on the spiritual blessings. So praise God. Um, I want to read again verse 10. This, this is a very important verse. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. You know, we, we need to redeem the time. We don't know how much time we have left. Our time is short, very short. But none of us knows whether we are guaranteed another day. You know, the Lord could come for any of us uh at any time, even before his, I'm not talking about the rapture, you know, we, we could just be taken at any time. We don't know when that time might come. So we need to make good use of our time. And, uh, you know, like the scripture says in, in verse 9, you know, talking about us continuing to do good and not be weary and, and not to lose heart. That means to continue what you're doing. Don't Don't stop, you know, don't just say, well, I, I did this today, and, and you know, that's, that's going to be good for a while. And I know the Holy Spirit wants us to rely on Him daily to, uh, you know, let us walk in love with others, and, and he, he will show us what to do. Uh, just, just ask the Holy Spirit. He will tell you what He wants you to do. He, he will lead you to people that He wants you to minister to, and uh, that's, that's what it's all about. So, uh, before I end this video, I want to uh, say a quick prayer with, with you guys. Uh, I know a lot of you, like I said before, uh, are struggling with, with different things. And uh, I just feel led to pray for you right now that the uh, Holy Spirit would move on you in a special way. And uh, that the Lord will bring blessings into your life in what, whatever area that, that you're needing it. So, uh, Lord God, I just lift up my friends to you right now. I just ask, Father, that you would touch each one in a special way. Draw them close to you, Lord God. Help them to not lose hope. Help them to continue this good fight of faith that we're walking. It is a fight. It is a battle, but it is a good fight. And you have won the battle for us, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for bringing encouragement into my brothers and sisters right now, particularly those that, that are in desperate need of a touch on their hearts, those that are, are depressed or those that, that are just struggling with, with whatever it is that, that's keeping them bound. Lord, I just ask, Father, that you would release them right now in the name of Jesus. Make them whole right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Lord God, for you are worthy of our praise. Thank you for helping us all to endure until the end, Lord God, to remain faithful to that which you have called us to do, Lord. We just give you all praise and glory and honor unto your name, Lord God. And thank you for leading us safely into your heavenly kingdom. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Wow. Well, praise God. Uh, I just know that the Lord is moving on some of your hearts right now. He's ministering to you. And uh, be encouraged. Uh, the Lord is doing a mighty work on your behalf. So just stay faithful, uh, stay close to God. Uh, he, he will never leave us. You know, we can leave him, but he will never leave us. For he said so in his word. So uh, I just wanted to 
exhort you guys again to uh, continue strong in the faith. For our race is almost over. It's, it's coming to a close soon. So don't give up. Uh, also, the, uh, Brother Earl from Loving Yeshua channel did a video the other day, uh, you know, talking about don't give up. If you haven't seen that video, I encourage you to watch it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's very encouraging, you know, very uplifting to continue in our walk and, and don't lose hope, you know. So uh, anyway, bless you guys. Uh, I love you all. I'm continuing to pray f for all of you. And uh, until next time, keep looking up.